Hey, what's going on Aries? I hope you are doing very well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for April 12th to the 18th, 2022. So in this reading Aries, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy. We're going to take a look at some things you don't see coming and we're also going to get some advice and messages from your angels and spirit guides for April 12th to the 18th. So first and foremost, you are all definitely very welcome here, Aries, in this space with me as we go through this reading. I appreciate you taking the time to place your attention here on this reading. Um, if you find that it resonates with you, definitely smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already for future updates, Aries. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into this reading for you. I'm going to do three shuffles. I've also pre-shuffled some oracle cards over here uh, as we go through it. So let's go ahead and see what would like to come through. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Aries. And look who came out, Aries, you. Jumper right away. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what wants to come through here for you. Hmm, the Emperor and the Empress, wow. Wheel of Fortune, centerpiece, wow. All right, Aries. Let's go ahead and jump into this reading and see what we got going on here for you. So your opportunity here is the hanging man for the 12th to the 18th and your challenge is the world card. Okay, so keep that in mind as we move through this reading. We'll talk about it in a second. <clears throat> Start off for you here in your overall general energy Aries. You have the Emperor, the Ten of Wands and also the Empress card here. Okay, I'm getting two different stories here. Um, some of you here Aries for the 12th to the 18th feels like there's there's something like something really preventing you from being with someone that you find very like to be your soulmate essentially this could be someone that you are in a relationship with now Aries like your, your husband or wife or whatever it is um, or if you're single Aries I see a love situation where, where there's literally something in the middle of you of someone that you're meant to be with the, the wheel of fortune and you have the judgment the temperance world it's like a lot of like heavy kind of spiritual energy around you Aries for the 12th to the 18th but um if that's not your story and you're not dealing with love, there could be a real struggle for part for some of you that are kind of more on a deep spiritual path. Um, and this could apply to both of you to integrate your, your masculine and feminine uh, kind of like polarities here, because all of us are, are masculine and feminine to a certain degree, but the true enlightened person becomes whole within themselves. And that's why you find, I don't think that this is an ideal for everyone because I think we're meant to be physical humans, Aries, but like enlightened people sometimes don't even need partners anymore because they've completely integrated the mas the divine masculine and feminine within their themselves. And so that's when you see like someone like Eckhart Tolle on a stage who's like, well, I could take it or leave it, the whole love thing. It's not because he's avoiding it, it's because he's integrated, but um, he actually does have a lover, which is weird now. I hope some of you know, even know what I'm talking about. But this is what I see happening, Aries. And the hanging man in your opportunity here is to really um, willingly look at something and allow it to potentially change your perspective um, right now. Because the hanging man, the way that I look at this card, Aries, in the opportunity is that this person is willingly hanging. It's not that they can't untie themselves here and kind of go and avoid a problem. You're facing your fear is the opportunity at least. And whatever this 10 of wands is, you know, um, the 10 of wands is a card of like overworked and underpaid, but it's more so something in the middle of you and someone that you love or having trouble integrating those polarities within you. Uh, um, not that you're not doing it at all, but you know, your challenge here, Aries is the world. So there's something that you may have to let go of, um, a, a deep cycle that you've been going through potentially your whole life is coming to an end now. And, um, and what you don't see coming, it makes sense. You have the Judgment card, the Wheel of Fortune, and also the Ten of Swords. So it's Judgment Day about something. I think there's Aries. Like there's something um, to do with someone that you're meant to be with that it's almost the blockages are going to be cleared. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, also for a lot of you in the world, there are major endings here for what you don't see coming. 
Um, I think there's going to be a lot of blockages that are removed here, actually, because the Wheel of Fortune being the centerpiece to your reading, it just feels like for what you don't see coming, you're going to have a lot of good luck this week, Aries. But I think it's having to do with a blockage that's being removed out of your life that either has to do with someone or some situation blocking you from being with someone that you're meant to be with, a very like your divine counterpart, or integrating these polarities within yourself to become more whole and complete within yourself. And depending who you are, Aries, this could be both of your stories is what's happening right now. Um, so we're going to clarify to get more information, but the advice from your spirit guides, you have the page of pentacles, the temperance card, and also the two of wands. So, um, there is going to be options on the table, right? Two of wands here. Think about where you're going. Cause I feel like there's going to be a blockage cleared from your life this week. The temperance card is about emotional alchemy, the successful blending of opposites or the successful, it's, it's showing you that like, you know, the temperance right underneath the wheel of fortune and the 10 of pentacles or the 10 of wands, whatever temporary problem you're you're experiencing separating you from your divine counterpart here it's just going to be dissolved because it's destiny it was written any earthly matter cannot compete with with sometimes higher things that are meant to happen in our life page of pentacles as well like it shows that it, for some of you, if you've been in a relationship with this person and you're already married, like there's a lot of progress to be made. Maybe you focus on your career, just like other stuff to do. But if you're single and you, you're yet to be with this person, Aries, there's a lot of feeling of um, like maybe there's a lot of work that needs to put be put in, but you're you're ready to start the journey with this person now once this block is removed, right? Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands is the advice. Like have no fear, Aries. This is not going to block it forever. So I've also pre-shuffled this... Uh, oracle card deck also the world card in your challenge it may be hard for you to receive aries uh there may be a divine counterpart it's in front of you but maybe you need to clear some blocks so let's be let's be, let's be real there as well um but let's see what wants to come through here oops i didn't mean to take that one um okay so first of all we have krishna here this is some advice to help you through this week um pre-shuffled trust your spiritual guidance aries your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally so devotion um, so if you've been wanting to manifest a situation or you're, you're completely devoted to the one that you love here, Aries. So that devotion goes a long way. Okay. Um, you are loved by this person who you're having conflicts with as well, or like the, the two parts of yourself that you're trying to merge here. Holy amethyst, divine alchemy, move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire. And that's the whole energy of this reading. There's a faded connection in this, re in this week for you, judgment, um, the only one that can get in the way of your this connection is you or the other person like doubting it, you know? So the only way to ruin it is self-imposed limitation. This is something that's meant to happen. So have that realization, set your intention. You also have heart awakening, okay? Lady Nada. So this may be, you have to forgive someone in your past. The advice row as well from spirit here. Um, emotional alchemy. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance, okay? And, and that's a very, very similar theme here with the temperance in your advice areas for this week. So give and receive in balance, you know, like maybe I'm getting the feeling a lot of you Aries need to learn how to receive because even if you're the feminine person watching this reading, Aries, like the sign, you're still the emperor, like you still know what you want and you still may have certain masculine qualities that maybe need integrating and that's why this is coming up, like tapping into that feminine receptivity because, uh, yeah, so... I hope this helps you, Aries, but um, let's go ahead and start clarifying a few of these cards here in this reading. But I'm just getting like there's a soulmate on your mind, someone that you're meant to be with. A lot of problems in the way, but they are going to dissolve and because there's so much spiritual energy around. So let's go ahead and clarify first and foremost why the hanging man is here, Aries, and your opportunity for the 12th to the 18th. Um, let's go ahead and see. <laughs> okay two of cups jumping out of the deck so yeah waiting for someone okay waiting for a problem to blow over because you know you're meant to be with someone in love here a destined connection uh probably you and this person look good together aries because the empress and the emperor like you just fit together physically even though these are spiritual major arcana cards you do see the two people on there and two of cups to confirm the hanging man like you're making a sacrifice aries for the person a long-term vision that you have that you're waiting to start or rekindle a fire between you and someone that you know you're meant to be with aries so there's a sacrifice maybe on both of your behalfs because the problem i almost sense the problem separating you is like 
strange or, or, or something like that. I'm not sure. But um, two of cups, you know, this is this is looking like a faded connection, Aries. But let's see why the ten of wands, like why is this energy here? It could be overthinking, um, like feeling like, like there's a lot of excess energy between you and a person this week. Like a lot of things going unsaid, a lot of like tension, uh, you know. <laughs> let's see though, Aries, why is this ten of wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here for Aries in the overall general energy? Could be working hard, like working really hard to make this connection work, you know? Why didn't I say that in the beginning? Okay, three of, uh, ten of, don't mean to laugh at you here. Uh, ten of Wands with the three of swords. So there's, once again, I think it's a lot of different things for a lot of different Aries out there, but there's a major problem here in the middle of you guys that's what i'm it's could have it most likely has to do with a third party as well maybe one of you are dealing with like getting it's almost like maybe both of you are getting out of a relationship one of you is getting out of a toxic relationship be, but you know you're meant to be with this person for others of you though if you're in a committed relationship with this divine counterpart aries there just seems like there's a major major problem here but i see it going your way in the end it's going to be like there's going to be a shift this week judgment day right something needs to happen on judgment day like it's kind of like you know and what you don't see coming on judgment day like what happens on judgment day is you get real results in the relationship something shifts in the relationship it's like uh it's like judgment day is like fight day like if you're if, if you're a professional like mixed martial artist you like train all you want but judgment day comes or it's like any athlete anyone who has to perform like even me doing these freaking tower readings like it's judgment day i'm doing it right now there's nothing that can save you once you're in swimming in it so you're swimming in something Aries uh, here now I do also want to clarify why the yeah why the world is here in your challenge because this is you may be having a hard time to receive I'm telling you yeah like maybe like lack of worthiness Aries like I don't deserve this person so you have these like blocks or maybe the person you're dealing with has those blocks but I see those blocks coming to an end so and I'm not like the most optimistic person ever. It might sound like that on this reading, Aries, but you guys know me if you know my readings. I'm not like overly optimistic all the time. So for me to be like this, you know, I do, I'm feeling what I'm feeling. Uh, but I'm going to shut up. <laughs> okay. Repeating message, temperance, temperance, successful blending. Okay. The world here. Um, you've reached a point where it's your time has come. It's judgment day. It's almost like Aries. It's time to be with this person here and you're going to successfully do it, um, in, in your challenge. It may be challenging. Okay. Because this is such a big thing, right? Person you really care about because it means something to you. That's why it's challenging. But it, once again, it's letting you know, even though it's a challenge, you're going to, you're going to make it through this challenge. Like I'm getting like six of wands vibes here. Now temperance is you know play it cool aries because sometimes aries as well you can get hot-headed you want to control things you want to make things happen now balance this out because you can't stop what's meant for you and this feeling if you're thinking about if this is your situation aries then this is meant for you this relationship let's also see why the t the wheel of fortune is here any more relevant information on the wheel of fortune for what you don't see coming the centerpiece to your reading i don't sense this is a bad shift uh but i mean it's Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aries? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, Aries. So I think uh, this person for you is someone who maybe you're meant to have a family with. If you already have a family with this person, you were meant to do that in this life, potentially. Four of Wands is coming home uh, and what you don't see coming. So a change in your home life. I see a good shift in your home life if, if you're already with this person. If not, there's a, like a creation element to this. Like this is what you're meant to build with this person. Also three of pentacles, good for work as well in, in destiny. So they say like when, when you start, when you're with the people that you're meant to be with, you'll often excel financially you'll excel in it and when you're with the right person especially who's designed for you because like soulmates usually are like literally like made for each other you will excel in every single area that much further if you don't have this divine counterpart now some people it's just not their path and if that's you aries 
I don't even know if you're still listening to this at that point, but you're meant to combine th these energies within you. Because uh, don't forget about that message that came through in the beginning either. Now, I do also, let's go ahead and clarify uh, why this Ten of Swords is here. Any any more relevant information? Like, what is the let go here? Because you do have the Three of Swords. I think it's a let go to this very negativity. I don't see it these being like necessarily interconnected as much as you might think based on the, the looks of it here, Aries. But why is the uh, Ten of Swords here and what you don't see coming? This could be like towards the end of the week too, because I read like chronologically hanging off here. Heart awakening at the end of the week almost. Ten of Swords is clarified by the King of Pentacles here. Okay, very interesting energy. Um, th this could be a, a blockage being removed for someone that like you're struggling with here, like the ending to any financial problems. Now for others of you, this very well could be, um, a third party that, that like it, 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 the energy gets cleared here. Too many temperance energies, too many, too many possibilities. Like there's an ending to maybe someone, this is the third party that leaves the situation. Finally could be a boss at work or like some sort of third party leaves the connection, which opens it for this. So whoever, like the emperor, the empress, the masculine feminine in this relationship or in this situation ship, there's a clearing of an individual or a job or something or lack of money, something for, it's going to be different for each and every one of you Aries, but something blocking that connection. Uh, so all right. Now, I do want to clarify this temperance card here in the advice from spirit since it came out here with the world card as well. Why is the temperance card? And then we're going to pull some, we already have some pre-shuffled oracle card decks or, or oracle cards, not decks, but I do have decks here. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, King of Cups coming out. Um, so if you're the feminine polarity in this connection, Aries, it's very possible that your guy gets his shit together. King of Cups gets his shit together. If not, you know, and this doesn't really represent a person, because I think for some of you it does. It's like the person you're dealing with, like they let go, something go, or something happens with you where you can finally be free to move towards the person that you truly desire or the soulmate destined energy. Um, for others of you, the King of Cups, the Temperance card, is the advice is to like feel into this person's pain before you judge them, Aries. Because you, someone like you or the other person might be getting upset about like why isn't it happening or like what's going on with this other thing. The King of Cups is someone who can hold space for another person, be very aware of emotional undercurrents and not really say anything, but be an energetic supportive person. And so there's a, there's a, like a Bible verse or like something that I think applies. It's just a universal law. Like do not point out the splint in your brother's eye when you have a log in your own eye. So it's like, you could really tear this person apart maybe for a mistake they're making that you feel is threatening you or, uh, or right. I actually sense that. So maybe vice versa for some of you, but the energy here, I think, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's just pull these final Oracle cards for you as to what is going on for this week. Yeah, love this energy. So you have peaceful resolution. Okay, with the, I love to see that here. Peaceful resolution, you have opportunity, and you also, Aries, have don't stop. All right, so um, with that being said, I'm gonna leave you with those messages. I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Aries. If you did and you want more information um, on your situation here for this week or your life in general, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You can find the information on that in the description box underneath this video, but it's always great to do these readings for you either way, Aries. Thank you so much for uh, watching and I'll talk to you next week. Hope you have a great one.